I was mad and, and scared. And I didn't know what was going to happen next. And I put my clothes on and shaking and I felt like it just, I, I just wanted to get out of there. I went to a party because somebody in a modeling agency told me about a party that had all the models were going to it. During the course, I met one guy who said that he knew somebody that had an, like, he knew somebody that would like me. That's how I got Jeffrey's information. I get to this beautiful place and I'm escorted up the stairs to a room and when I walk in, he's getting a, he's laying on a massage table. He didn't, he didn't really look at my book that much. He started looking at me and then, you know, he asked me to take my clothes off, which it's, it's not that uncommon. I mean, it, I was not surprised. They want to see what you look like, you know. So I did. And, you know, he... <sighs> it's so, it so embarrassing, but, you know, he looks at me and then he asks me, like, how old are you? Like, um, 21. And made me feel really embarrassed and I, like, was like, you know, can I get my clothes on and stuff? And he's like, no, no, you... You just, you finish my massage like that, and I'm like. He just jumped up and threw me down. I, I was just scrambling around, like, you know, no, no, no. And he raped me, yeah. When he was done, it was so, like he was revolted at me even though I know I didn't do anything wrong and I was raped. I still feel like there's still a taboo. Like, I went to New York by myself and, um, you know, I put myself in this position and there's still that stigma attached to, but all I was was just a person with, you know, big dreams and they got quashed. He effectively got away with it, really, all the way until the end. Don't let them get away with this ever again. Don't let them. And it's not just a physical act of rape. You can also rape someone's dreams and the soul, their future, forever. And there's not, there's not any way to pay any of these women back for that. <laughs>